Hey guys, Will here from Stay Frosty Cinema, and this is SitRep. In this episode, we're talking about a possible glimpse at Call of Duty Black Ops 2's first DLC pack. A recent post showed a supposed promotional poster for the DLC pack, titled Revolution. Now this pack has not been confirmed by Activision yet, and we can expect an official reveal of whatever the DLC pack may be very soon. But in the possibility that this could be it, the Revolution pack would drop on January 29th, about the same time as MWT's content season started up last year, featuring four new multiplayer maps, one new zombie map, and an all new bonus in-game SMG called the Peacekeeper. By the way, I put a link in the description to an article with said images, so go check that out after the video. I'll get onto maps in just a second, but unless you were living under a rock for most of 2012, you'd know nearly the entire Call of Duty community was begging for Modern Warfare 3 gun DLC. I even made a video about it that got almost 40,000 views. The possibility of having gun DLC in Black Ops 2 is just plain awesome. Tiny bit to Activision and Treyarch, I wouldn't be too stressed out about this so-called leak. I'm pretty sure nobody can deny they're now interested in buying it for the bonus weapon. The Peacekeeper SMG appears to be a standard short barrel SMG. Looks pretty sweet, sort of looks assault rifle-ish. On to maps. Now I've gotten into a sticky situation before with making guesses about Call of Duty DLC maps, so I'll keep it minimal and stick to the stuff that is pretty obvious. Again, no confirmations here, just speculation. One of the maps, Hydro, looks pretty industrial. Taking the title into account, it could be a hydroelectricity plant or something of the sort. The second map, Downhill, is a snow map, featuring what looks like a ski lodge in the background. With a bunch of cables running across the span, it appears that this map could take place at a ski resort. Now the third map in question, Grind, looks pretty strange at first. If you look at it long enough, you may just notice that it's a freaking skate park. Awesome? Maybe. Unexpected? Yes. The final apparent multiplayer map here is called Mirage. It's easy to tell from the image that this map would feature a Japanese or Chinese village. It's got that sort of architecture going on there. It looks tropical too. Finally, the supposed zombie map, Die Rise, not Deriz, Die Rise, shows a dense urban cityscape in ruin. Battlefield 3 Aftermath vibes going on here. It also features what looks like soldiers turned into zombies. We'll probably get a bit more information on the storyline in the upcoming DLC. And on a final note, it looks less incredibly annoyingly foggy and dusty as the default green run maps. So those are my takes on the possible maps. Again, just me taking guesses, nothing official here. But go check out the images and leave your thoughts and speculation in the comments below. Also, Interesting question that I always get lots of feedback on. With the possibility of bonus weapons, what guns would you want to see in future Black Ops 2 DLC? Give your take in the comments. That's all for this episode of SitRep. Make sure to check out our other videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in this revolution pack. Make sure to subscribe for lots more frosty content. And until next time, do not forget to stay frosty.